the conquerors. The cycle continues. Clearly, someone's compensating. Did you just make a joke? Apologies, stupid mistress. What are you so afraid of? It looks to be another would-be demon conqueror. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not would-be, will. Easy, my lady. There's no need for steel or whips. <sighs> another demon with a mysterious agenda. Do you know Volgrim? I believe you two would get along. <laughs> no. Where Vulgrim deals in trash, Abraxas trades in class. Ah, my reputation precedes me, I see. <laughs> it does. Someone wants you dead. Ah, they can get in line. The meek always envy the strong. Isn't that right, Water? Lovely, but the Lord of Hollows seems to think you're a meddler. You've seen the traitor? Where? Matters not. What matters is that he wants you dead, and I want to know why. You're a clever woman. It takes but one eye and half an ear to tell, so... I'll give it to you straight. That will be the home of a very, very important demon. Someone who will win this war once and for all. And I will stand by his side. The traitor doesn't like that. The traitor fears change. <laughs> Better the devil you know and all that. And what of the traitor? What does the Lord of Hollows want? Sometimes the birds win. Sometimes the bats. Balance. But the traitor. The traitor wants more. The false lord would be a false god. He would hollow this planet as he hollows souls. That is his becoming. He sits you against me because he knows that when my lord is installed, Abraxas will find the traitor and pull the organs from his backside for what he's done. Melady's job is to keep order. The Lord of Hollows believes he is order. If the lady is as the lady does, she should kill the traitor soon, before he rises. But if you're going to surprise me, Please get on with it. I have an empire to build. 
You are quite the silver-tongued demon, aren't you? The original. <laughs> it shall make a fine trophy, then. Shoot yourself. Good luck with your tower, demons. Pray I have no call to come back. 